Hello and welcome to this tutorial. So in the last tutorial, what we saw was that how to create a matrix report and then how to introduce the concept of child groups and drill through into it, how to control the visibility and stuff like that. What we are going to do in this tutorial is we're going to look how to create a sub report. So a sub report basically allows you to embed a lot of reports like you know you have a main report and then you can embed a couple of sub reports into it so that all the reports are, are like together visible in the main report so it's basically just you know um, it, it helps itself to embed to into, into a main report so uh, let's use this um, example itself what we're going to do is let's create a parameter so I'm going to say that where um, country region code, let me just introduce a parameter called CRC, and it will not be there right now, but it will create it for me. So now when I see it should be there, yes. So let me just test this real quick. Click on US. All right. So we have some data to work with right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new report. Oops, I do not want the wizard, but I'm going to create a new item. And I'm going to call this as sub report. So we have a blank report right now. And let me go ahead and again, just create a connection string. I should have actually, you know, kind of created a shared data source and a data set. But um, let's see, let's just continue with what we have right now. All right, let me connect to Adventure Works, and let's connect to our same table. All right, so I'll check all the data that I need. I need, say, the top 10. Okay, all right, so I have some data to work with right now. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to introduce a parameter where country region code equal to CRC. And if I hit preview, let's just test this out. Oh, so I didn't add this data to the surface, so let me just quickly pull in a table control and then I'm going to add this report data to it. So I'll pull a name, let's see country region code and sales. Alright, now it should probably work. Okay, so we have some data to work with. So what I need is the previous report that we created, the matrix report, also accepts a country region code as a parameter. And what I need to do is I need to embed that report to this report. So that's where sub reports um, come into play. Sub reports actually allow us to even pass in parameters. So, you know, it, it basically um, depends on how you actually design your report. You can have a matrix report and each cell can actually have a sub report. So you will be in turn opening a lot of reports and then passing parameters from one report to another. It, it totally depends on your business needs and how to do it. For now, let's let's just look at how to create a sub report. If you drag and drop the sub report control, it kind of gives you this structure. But you have to actually define some properties in order to get going on this one. So if you right click, there is an option called sub report properties. And it will basically pop up a wizard and then you need to say which report do you want to use as a sub report. I'm going to use a matrix report. And then you need to pass in the parameter. For now, what I'm going to do is, whatever I select, that should be passed on to the next report as a parameter. So that's it. Now, if we hit on preview and say, pass in the parameter US, you see that you know the sub report is rendered to the same main report, and then the parameter is also passed on to the sub report. So again, as I, as I mentioned before, the the you know sky is the limit. You really need to think how you want to design it. You can have multiple sub reports which communicate with each other, um, you know, uh, like a cascaded manner. And then you can, of course, create cascaded parameters. You can embed expressions on this one and so on and so forth. So that was a very simple demo on how to create a sub report. 
Thanks for watching.